This is just a short introduction to the first lab of the introduction to bioinformatics course. In this lab, you will just start using the computers in the computer room, or if you prefer your own computer that you in that case have to install a Unix operating system on by yourself. That for instance could be your Mac, but it could also be installing Linux or a compatible operating system within Windows. So Unix is an old operating system from the, was developed in the 60s and it has been existing on many, many computers since then. And today there are mainly two flavors. This is the Linux, or developed by Linux Torvalds, and uh, the system that is used by many, many different computers. Anything from the small Raspberry Pi $5 computers until the most powerful computers in the world. And there's also a quite popular system called Mac OS X, which is run on all Apple computers, including iPhones and iPads and many things like that. Linux is also used on most, for instance, on Android telephones. So uh, that's a bit of a historical background, but actually you don't see so much an operating system. You would mean interact with, with, with using a shell. And the most common shell today is Bash. Uh, called born again shell, but uh, also C shell or TC shell are quite, com are quite common, but we, I will use bash here. So the whole idea is that you have uh, uh, that everything in Unix is in the file process and you have special names set on it and you have a file system that is uh, looking like this. So if you look at the, to the right, you see my terminal and if I type pwd, you see where I am. So it's, I'm in a directory called users, RNE downloads temp. So users and download has a capital D, so that's important. They're not the same thing as if you don't have a capital D. So if I, for instance, want to look at what directories exist in top in top directory, I can do ls for list and type slash as in top directory. They have applications, home, systems, users, etc. If I want to see what files are in this directory, I do ls. I see they have five files, file, file three, file four, new file, new file two. I can do ls minus a and also see two more files, which is dot and dot dot. And that is um, the current directory and the directory one step up. So if I do ls dot dot, you see all my files that are in the directory one step up. Now I can press control L or clear, for instance, I can type, and then I get the clear line. Take away all the old, old things. So if I want to change the directory, I want to go one step up, I go to cd dot dot. I'm up here and now I'm in the directory uses on e downloads. I can go back to the temp directory by doing cd temp. I can create a new directory, make directory in directory, for instance, and I can go to this directory and I'm here and I can go back again. I can, for instance, look at uh, uh, a file. I can do ls here, so the files. I can ls minus l and see some more information about the files. So, and, uh, permissions of the files, etc. I can look at what is in the file using the command. I can move a file or change the file. I can copy file, I can go copy file to file two, to file one. And now if you see, I have the file one here also. And I can move a file, I can move file one to file two. And then you see I have here. If I move file two to file three, my old file fee 3 disappears. If I type correctly, at least move file to file 2 to file 3. And I can remove, I can remove a file, I can remove file 4, and now it's gone. Uh, a common useful command is cat. I can do cat of a file 2. So file 2 looks like my file 3. Looks like that. I can do add something to this file, but, but I can. Take this file and cat and type the, to this command and pipe it, which is large and sound, to another file. I can do that to file 2 again. And now if I cat file 2, it's identical to file C. This I can check, for instance, use command diff. I can do the diff, file 2 and file 3, and they are the same. I can look at the head. I can look at the first line, head minus 1 of file 2. And it looks at that. I can look at the tail file. Two. Now look at the last line. I can do sort of file, I can do sort file two. 
Let me get there, and I can take a sort and pipe into another directory. Sorted file. And then over cat of a sorted file, and I get this. So many commands like that. It means a lot of things you can do in Shell. You can take things and add it to the other, and actually even take several steps of it, and do it directly from the command line. And that is very useful often in mathematics. Another, for instance, common word is to use the, I can look at the many, many, many lines that are in this file. And I see that there are 30 lines. I can look at the word star in this file. And then I got five words. Or my characters, there are 57 characters. I can use to do grep. I can grep all files that contain a nine in this file. I get all lines that contain nine. So I get this one. If I grep all that contains a zero, I get nothing. If I grep all that contains an A, I get this. Mm. And I can do many other things. Uh, I can uh, do a lot of different sorting, lots of things, different output, and many other commands. And this is what you will try now in the uh, exercise. And then you will send it to the assistants whose name is on top of the slide. And uh, yeah, you should be ready for the first lab. Bye.